Hey guys, what's going on? Um, going to be doing a collection video. I haven't done one in like, uh, well this one specifically, it's my PlayStation 1 collection. haven't done it in about six months. I've gotten uh, quite a few games since then, um, quite a few subscribers since then. So I figure I'll do these collections videos, maybe, you know, like the total collection. Uh, maybe once every, you know, maybe twice a year, so every six months. Um, but I'm going to start with the PlayStation 1 collection because I think it's the one that has grown the most um, since the last one. Um, which is weird because I don't really uh, play my PlayStation you know, 1 games that much. But, um, you know, whatever. I'm going to show you guys anyway. Um, so, the first one is, uh, this, I don't have it complete, I don't know what happened, but it's w WWF Attitude. Uh, back in the day I was a huge um, wrestling fan. Um, and Attitude was definitely the best. It still is my favorite wrestling game of all time. Uh, its predecessor was um, WWF Warzone. I think this is still my original copy. I don't remember ever um, selling it or rebuying it. So I think this is my original. And uh, I have a lot of Greatest Hits games. Uh, I just I just come across them more now. Um, Siphon Filter. This when I was younger, this was definitely one of my favorite games. Uh, it was it was awesome, you know. Um, but it hasn't aged well at all. Um, at least the first one. I have uh, the second one, I believe. I'm looking. Yeah, no, I have the third one. I used to have the second one. I think I sold it. Um, but yeah, it hasn't aged well at all. It's actually very, very hard to play these days. Um, the controls are just very. Uh, it was before the. Uh, it's a shooter before the second analog stick was introduced, so um, you can imagine. Uh, next up is a uh, Rugrat Search for Reptar. Funny story with this. Uh, I had it when I was younger. Me and my sister had it. And then, um, I don't know what happened to it, you know, like any other game, but uh, we went to, it's probably about a year ago now, uh, we went to a play and trade, um, just she was, we had nothing to do, so I was like, I'm going to go up to the store if you want to go, and she was like, alright, so um, we were looking through the games, and she was like, oh, remember that old Rugrats game that we had, I was like, yeah, she's like, oh, I wonder if they have that, so we started looking, and sure enough, it was there, so we picked it up, um, just, you know, for a laugh, but uh, it's actually not a terrible game. Uh, but what is a terrible game is Urban Chaos. I got this at a Goodwill for about $4. Um, it's just not good. <laughs> you can go back to the, to the blog and um, read my impressions of it, but it's not good. It's actually still my PlayStation 1, my PS1 system, um, so I have to take it out before I lose it. Next is uh, 40 Winks. I actually never played this, but... Um, in my defense, I didn't actually buy it. I went and bought my PS1, like the little mini P uh, PlayStation 1. Um, this was in the system when I opened it. So I guess the guy forgot about it and um, sent it to me for free. So, But I never actually played it. Um, next, Final Fantasy VII. I, I paid like 20 bucks for this, so it was, it was good. But uh, I, I started playing it, restarting it again, because um, I have it on the PSN. But uh, I, n I never, like, got, I got about two or three hours in and just kind of lost interest. But, um, you know, I'll go back to it. Um, another game that I haven't played, but I got for cheap. I think I got this in a trade. It's King of Fighters 99. Um, it's got a weird back. It doesn't really show anything, which is strange. Um, but the game is complete um, and in, in decent condition. Um, but it just has a very strange back, which is weird. And I drop it. Um, I don't know, it just doesn't look like any other back that I've seen. But, yeah. So then, uh, Siphon Filter 3. I don't really remember ever playing this one. Um, I played Siphon Filter 2, I know that. Um, this is super complete. This has like the the little thing on the inside. I got this at a play and trade, I believe. Um, but yeah, I, this one I haven't played. Um, the ones on, on uh, PSP are good. So uh, hopefully if they have like the same controls as that one, it should be good. Um, but hopefully it has better controls than the first one. Next is uh, Metal Slug X. Uh, I'm a, I'm a pretty big Metal Slug fan. I'm, I don't like you know really really into it, but I do enjoy. It. I have the uh, anthology on the PlayStation Portable, and I have one on Xbox. Um, but yeah, this one is extremely difficult. Metal Slug X. Uh, I tried to I wanted to review this when I got it probably like a year ago, and it was so difficult I couldn't get past the first level. So I, no review was coming from that. Um, NFL Extreme. It's just like an arcade NFL game. I got it for a penny. Um, on eBay, uh, Gex. It's just a, a a 3D platformer. I was I was looking forward to this when I picked it up at um at a plane trade, but I just I don't know what it was, but I couldn't get into it. And uh, I think it was just it, it's just one of those games where you can play it if you played it when you were younger and when it was new and stuff like that. So it has the nostalgia to it. 
but I never played it when I was younger, so the nostalgia wasn't there, so it was a little difficult, and I kind of stopped. Uh, cool Borders 2, still my favorite, um, my favorite snowboarding uh, series, um, still, as you can see, I didn't get it for that, ex wasn't that expensive, it was only 99 cents at Play and Trade, um, I don't even remember buying this, but yeah, uh, Cool Borders, good stuff. Um, Twisted Metal, the original, um, again, green label, I have, I have a couple green labels, as you can see, but I don't really care. Um, they're bringing this one back, they're bringing Twisted Metal back on the PlayStation 3, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty looking forward to it. Uh, I don't think I, I had never played this one, but this was the first game I had for, Twisted Metal 2 was the first game I bought for, um, for the PS1. This isn't my original copy, I actually recently bought this somewhere, I can't remember, I can't remember um, where I get these games anymore. But, um, yeah, Twisted Metal 2, they're, they're fun games. This, uh, ECW Hardcore Revolution, it's, it's basically... It's, been, it's made by Acclaim, which made the um, the WWF games. It's basically the same exact game, except they swapped the characters out. Um, I got this for... It was brand new sealed at a play and trade for 99 cents. I was thinking about keeping it sealed and letting the value go up, but <laughs> it wasn't happening. Uh, next uh, is GTA 2, the collector's edition. I kind of start, to start moving quicker, but... Uh, this, I, I never played it, but looking from the back, it looks a lot like Chinatown Wars on the DS, which I loved a lot. So maybe uh, someday I'll, I'll pop this in, but I don't really have anything else to say past that. Um, Driver, I got this out of play and trade. The, it's the most, like, destroyed case ever. It's in basically it's basically in two pieces, but um, I don't think I paid that much for that. Um, Resident Evil 2, I have uh, not played this. Also, but I don't really plan on it. I forget what I got this. I definitely got this off of Game TZ. I think I may have bought it, but I, you know, if I buy something off Game TZ, it's never expensive. So for collection purposes only, I have Resident Evil 2. Um, next up, Mega Man X4. I actually, I, I have played this and I enjoyed it. And I heard people say that this is the last really good Mega Man game, at least in the X series. I don't know how many there are, but that was actually pretty fun. Another pretty fun game is uh, Project Overkill. I got this at, uh, this was also at a plane trade, I actually remember that, um, and it's really cool, it's got, it's just like a, a top-down view of, it's just like a shooter, it's kind of like a Doom, where you just shoot everything, I don't really know if there's a story, but, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty fun. Next up, uh, Metal Gear Solid, the first one, I'm just going just tactical to smash, okay, um, I got this for $7 at a, uh, thrift store. So that's pretty cool. Um, I know Play and Trade asked for it for like twenty five dollars for it, which is way too much. But uh, yeah, so it's it's green labeled also. But for seven dollars, I wasn't gonna pass it up. I never played it. I'm not a big uh, Metal Gear guy. Next is a game I started last night, Rayman. I got this for free off of Game TZ. Um, I explained it. I expl explained why in my vlog. But uh, I started this last night, and I actually really like it. I'm really looking forward to playing this. Um, it, it just looks like a really great looking Super Nintendo game. It's on the PlayStation 1, but uh, it's it's great, and uh, look for a review of this one for probably fairly soon, probably next week. And last but not least, uh, one of my favorite PS1 games is Crash Bandicoot. Um, I don't really have to talk about it that much. Uh, so yeah, that's my PS1 collection. It's a lot of randomness, it's a lot of scatterbrained. Uh, there's a lot of RPGs that I still want to check out. I mean, I don't have a lot of RPGs for it. I have, you know, I think just one. Um, and on a system that has a lot of RPGs, I should buy more. But that's basically it. So expect a few more collection videos coming up because I haven't done any of them since December. Um, if you guys want to comment in the bottom uh, about some games I should check out, um, or just comment on my uh, on the video itself uh, about my collection, what do you think of some of the games? I don't get enough comments, so I'm kind of hoping that people comment stuff. And uh, if you want to request what video, what, what collection of video to check out next, be my guest. Uh, next week I'm probably going to Ustream again. I did it about two weeks ago or a week ago. It was a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoy the collection of videos that are coming. And look for uh, Rayman review and probably Crash Bandicoot within the next coming week or two. So I'll see you guys later.